How's it going everybody? It's been a while since I've done a survival video, so um, here we go. If you're here for my other types of videos, um, I suggest watching this anyways, uh, just because I want to get people into survivalism, but uh, if not, just scoot. Uh, a lot of people think that survivalists are nuts, and we're preparing for the end times, blah, 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 blah. Well, there are some who do that, and they're called Mormons, uh, but for the most part, no. Uh, what people like me normally um, prepare for is a natural disaster, hurricane, earthquake, blah, 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 whatever, economic turmoil like they we're seeing in Greece, um, stuff like that. There are some people who are, who think that the government's going to do something. You know, I don't really even have a problem with them. As long as you're preparing, uh, not really, as long as you're not preparing and you're not preparing for violence, um, you're, you're good. If you're just a survivalist and you're preparing for something, something that might happen, whatever it is, I mean, really, no matter what you're preparing for, if you're doing it right, you're doing it the same way. Uh, I don't even have a problem with these uh, uh, zombie survivalists. In fact, I love the zombie survival movie. It's ridiculous, but I love it. Uh, because if you go on the zombie survival forums, I mean, it's like word for word the same as the normal, rational survival uh, forums. Uh, the only thing is they have a few other threads that are about how to kill zombies. But food, pro uh, food um, storage, water storage, um, all that kind of thing is the same. Uh, so I'm all for it if it gets uh, more people into uh, survivalism on having a, an emergency slash bug out bag, um, having medical supplies around in your house, having a little extra food. I mean, to be a survivalist, you don't need to go all out like I do and have uh, six Home Depot buckets full of dried food and Mylar bags with no two absorbers uh, and a stock of canned goods, blah, blah, blah. You don't need that. Uh, what you need is to have a little extra food in your pantry and uh, just have some things around, medical supplies, extra hydrogen peroxide, blah, 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 that kind of thing, um, just to be prepared in case something happens. great example of this is what happened to me, what it, it must have been like two years ago now, um, we lost power and water for like a week. People were freaking out around here, because uh, that just doesn't happen. I was fine. <laughs> I was good. Um, I had all the water. I had food. Uh, I have ways to cook food without power. Uh, I even have ways to wash clothes, uh, camp soap, all that kind of thing. So I was good. My roommates were screwed. Uh, some of them went home to uh, different cities where their parents are. I was just fine. I was comfortable. I didn't care. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was uh, lack of hot shower. That was about it. Uh, but, you know, you don't really need that. You can get by with uh, other ways. So that's all you really need. I mean, stuff like that happens all the time. You need to be prepared for it. If you are at least somewhat prepared, you can get through that without even be, uh, being, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, without uh, really any hassle. So I would prefer people prepared for a major national di a natural disaster, but um, if you're just going to prepare just a little bit, that's perfect. I fully support that. Everyone, every rational person should be doing that. Just have a little extra around just in case. Uh, another great example is that people who lose their jobs and suddenly need to cut into their uh, emergency survival supplies to make it through the next two months without a job. That happens. Uh, check the survival forums. That happens. Uh, now I'm just going to show you something that I have for survivalism um, that I think everyone should have. Uh, some people aren't going to be dedicated enough, but uh, just show you I'm not crazy. This is my survival bag. You were probably expecting some giant molly pack or whatever, but this is my normal everyday survival pack. Um, I have bug out bags, uh, but that also is my camping bag, so it serves dual purposes. Uh, it's always packed in case I want to do something. This is just a shoulder bag you can buy from Battleboy Surplus. It's just a regular surplus style. And it's uh, crap I use every day. Uh, it's got two pack, two um, pockets in here. The first one is for where I 
jam all my stuff that I'm going to be using that day for class or wherever I'm going. And the second one is full of survival supplies up front. I've got my Sharpie, my pen, I get a little clip for papers. Uh, it's useful to have that around. I've got my everyday carry blade, as they call it. Uh, it's my Leatherman. I don't like multi-tools with pliers because the pliers are always junk and I've broken going on three pairs now. Um, but this one's got two screwdrivers and really that's all I need. And if you're going to go for an everyday carry knife for survivalist life, do not go for serrated blades because you cannot sharpen the damn things. Uh, you can cut through rope and everything just fine with this. I don't like serrated blades. I think they're crap. Uh, so that's IMO, my opinion. Uh, up front, uh, in this pocket, I've got a pack of business cards for whatever reason. I've got chapstick, uh, data driver, so see this really is my everyday carry crap. Alright, in the second pocket that's in here, I've got this thing and this thing. This thing goes into whatever pack I happen to be carrying, whether it be my... Uh, camping pack, my day pack, or this thing, whatever. Uh, they make these uh, and sell them on certain survival sites. We wouldn't sell them on Battle Boy Surplus, basically because it's cheaper for you to make them. I mean, with all the stuff I have on here, maybe one or two other things, some companies are going to charge you like 50 bucks, and really you could put one together for like 20 Maybe not with the same stuff I have, but... Uh, you could put one together pretty easily. This is my really nice compass. I've got a couple different compasses. Uh, a lot of the stuff on here would be redundant depending on what pack I put it in. Like the knife is already redundant in even this pack. But uh, this is my nice compass. Uh, of course, I've got my Swiss Army knife. It's got a few other things my other knife doesn't have. Uh, I've got my Swedish fire starter. I don't think I could write light, like trioxane with this, but if you get a few clumps of uh, tinder together, it's pretty easy to... You know, that's probably not the right one. See, we can get a good spark off of that. And then I've got, I believe this is made by uh, Life Gear. Um, they guarantee the batteries for life, they'll replace them. It's got a cool LED kind of stick light there. So that's useful, and this one actually throws a pretty good beam. Um, I mean, it's not tactical, like uh, Nut and Fancy shows all his $100 flashlights or whatever, but this gets the job done. This is all you really need. And I've got my little bag of trucks here. Um, stuff you can use every day, stuff you'll probably never use. Uh, 99 cent poncho from Walmart. I almost had to use this yesterday. I don't really feel bad about using one of these because they're 99 cents. For the price of a pop, I can just buy another one. In fact, I, I think I've got like five laying around here just in reserve. Uh, this is out of an MRE. It's an MRE pack. It's got toilet paper, moist towelette, gum, uh, for some reason instant coffee. Um, of course, matches, which is the whole reason I put this in there. I've got little, oh, whatever they call these, survival blanket, a uh, crappy little thin thing, but it gets the job done. Of course, uh, chem light use this as a road flare if you break down or whatever. MRE spoon, MRE entree, um, pack of purified water, it doesn't come with MREs, but uh, take the MRE out of the cardboard box, save space, and um, some peanut butter. Uh, just tide me over in case something happens. And a trioxane packet wrapped in like four layers of plastic with a rubber band. Trioxane is a little tablet about this big. It burns for about 20 minutes hot enough to boil water. Uh, I don't really have anything to boil water in, but if I need to start a fire like right now, uh, this thing will do it. So that's my little survival pack. Um, thanks for watching the video.